In this video, I will be going over how to use training mode in an efficient manner. Many new and even intermediate players don't know how or what to lab outside of combos. So this will be a beginner to advanced guide to teach you what to practice in order to succeed at Tekken 8. But enough rambling, let's get into the video. So, starting off, I think uh, when first learning how to use training mode, the record function is probably one of the most important things you can get down. Um, it's really simple to learn. Um, this will definitely come in handy when I talk about the intermediate uh, part of this guide on what you should work on, so just keep that in mind. Um, so what you're going to want to do is press pause and then under the practice settings and the training mode it'll probably se uh, be set to offense by default. So what you're going to want to do is select that and then go to defense and as you can see you have eight recording slots to work with. Um, along with other options down here, but we're not going to worry about these right now. I might make more of an advanced uh, or another <clears throat> addition to this video so uh, I can explain like how how to use these but we're just gonna focus on the recording slots for now so what you do is select the first one or whatever one you want um, I always just select the top one and go down the list if I'm working on something but um, there's two ways you can uh, select moves or whatever you, you can select the move from the move list um, if you know the input or whatever you can just go down to it select it or if you just want to lab and learn how to defend against uh, most of the moves and just move down the list that's okay too that's a good way of using the move list from here but if you already know a specific move that you want to record or a situation, uh, you just click record. It'll tell you control your opponent and record their movements. Press select plus B, yada yada. So uh, now you have control of uh, the opponent's character, but you're not recording. So this is actually a good time to uh, try and figure out the inputs of the move that you're looking for to, uh, you know, figure out how to punish or whatever. Um, so mess around, press some buttons, see what uh, move it is. Some tips I can usually uh, give, or a tip on how to like read what move it usually is. Um, just pay attention to the limb of the opponent's move and that you can usually tell like what normal or what it could be. Uh, so if it, like his left limb comes out like that, that was down forward three. So, uh, you know, just pay attention to the limbs. That'll give you an idea of maybe what move it could be. If you see him use both legs or both hands or whatever, uh, definitely try one plus two. But once you figure out your move that you want to record, you can hold select and then press four or B, uh, or circle on PlayStation. And then now you record your character or your opponent on uh, whatever you want to do at that point. And then you press start when you're done. Uh, record this movement. Yes, if you mess up, you can just click record again. And then it'll just bring you back here. And then you can record whatever and uh, hopefully get it right this time. And then when you're done, press start, record this movement. Yes, and boom. Uh, frequency, this is used for when you have multiple recordings, so you can increase that frequency um, along with the other uh, actions that you have recorded. So usually I just leave this at one for now. Um, but that's pretty much the gist on how to use the record function. Again, this will come in handy in the intermediate part of this guide, so uh, just watch out for that section. So another beginner tip I uh, would like to give out when using training mode is uh, how to test true combo strings. And what I mean by that is most moves or strings in this game are not true. So for example, Dragonov's down forward one four, even though the first uh, hit connects, the second hit is not guaranteed, only unless the first hit is a counter hit. So the way you set this up and to make sure like whatever string you want to test is a true combo string, you press start, 
and just like I told you on the record function part, this will automatically be set to offense, which is what you want. So uh, you just go down, make sure you have your opponent's action set to standing, and then the next option, action after hit or block, um, you want to go down and select block all. So that way, uh, no matter if it's a, a mid or a low um, or whatever, your opponent will block it if it's not true. So you can just go through your character's uh, strings and see what's true or not. Um, and then this will give you a good indicator on kind of like what strings to use for punishes and stuff, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but right here, you can see back my back forward three, four, three is uh, a true combo. Let's see, back two one, that's a true combo. Let's see if back two one two or back two one two is true and it's not. Um again back two uh the full string isn't true unless the second hit connects and you can see it kinda puts law in that hit stun animation where he grabs his gut. And then you can follow up with the two. Um so that's kinda how counter hits work in this game so i guess that could be good to talk about since this is under like true combo hit strings to to learn so yeah that's like the gist that's something definitely you should learn when learning uh your character or your your secondary or whatever if you're just trying to learn as many characters as you want this is something to learn and get down so you know what will connect what's fully true and what's not and then of course uh this is always a, a good beginner thing to practice and that's your combos um so usually in tekken your combos start from your your launchers stuff that launches your uh opponent in the air kind of like that or your down forward twos um just stuff like that and a really good way to actually learn combos is to use both combo challenges and sample combos because they both kind of teach you combos that one or the other doesn't show so um and these actually let you practice the combo with the inputs on screen i mean so do sample inputs but um these will get harder as they go and will teach you more information about uh your combos like what's filler what's not uh, what's your tornado move? What's your ender? Your your launcher? Stuff like that. Um, so see right there, challenge ten. That's a pretty good starter combo. You can extend it even further after after Ford Ford four three, but this is honestly a good basis to start learning your combos. Um, and then you can later on go on YouTube and learn more advanced combos but repetition is key just do the combo over and over again until you can get it down without even thinking that's usually how combos should work in video or in fighting games uh but it's just how muscle memory works so you need to practice get it down uh, i know repetition and just the monotony of doing something over and over again can get boring really quick but Trust me, it'll help, and it's something you you should practice, uh, like all levels of play, honestly. Even uh, high-level players still, you know, when learning a new character, they'll practice their combos, and they'll practice over and over, get the repetition down, because um, it's just all muscle memory. You gotta be able to do it without even thinking, so that's really combos in a nutshell. So for this section, this is what I talked about with uh, recording the record function in the beginner part. So uh, this is learning how to defend against strings or just figuring out frame data for moves that are blowing you up. So a good example I'm sure a lot of players get blown up for um, is Law's Junkyard move. And this is just a legacy move that fucks a lot of people up uh, in Tekken. So. The input is back 242, but let's go ahead and switch this and record it. So back 24, oh back 3, back 234, my bad. So uh, we go and record it. 
I don't think I recorded it properly, so back to two, three, four. Okay. So if Okay, I don't think this is a true combo anymore. So this string can really mess people up uh, if you're not looking out for it. I was ducking right there, but um, the way you beat this is to low parry it. Uh, you need to look out for that first initial punch, how he kind of leans forward and then does that uh, front punch with, his, uh, with two. So just look out for the animation and then you can probably uh, anticipate the low better but that's where uh, another part of learning strings comes from because he has an extension that is uh, back to one and it can blow you up if you're uh, trying to duck uh, the other string more so if we go ahead and look at the frame data um, this is where it'll get more advanced kind of so we're getting into frame data more um so back to three four if we pay attention to the three it's 23 frames on startup and back to one only has two hits so the three is 23 frames um and the back to one so the one has a 26 is 26 frames so if we do the math, that's a three frame gap we have to try to low parry um, the junkyard, the low. So you can practice trying to what we call fuzzy the string. So what you do is you block low first or try to parry low and then um, block high. It's kind of hard uh, to get down, but with enough practice, uh, you'll get it down. But just like any character you're struggling with, definitely go in and uh, figure out what moves they're using. Replays will help with that. Go watch your replays, figure out what moves they're using. Even the replays will tell you like what to punish with, so uh, you can just practice. And your replays, too, because of the replay takeover function which I will make a separate video on how to use that effectively so this is just a training mode video on how to get you started and uh, get you using training mode that's it for the intermediate section just find your characters or your opponent's string you're struggling with figure out the frame data and figure out how you can defend against it okay so this section is where it gets really advanced because this uh, will put your mental stack to the test but will also improve your mental stack uh, especially against specific characters that you want to practice against so what you're gonna want to do is set up at least four to five different recordings now i know this sounds like a lot but trust me uh, the better you get with training mode and as you get better uh, in tekken you're gonna want to use this to improve your reactions and just uh, visualize moves so that you know when you can duck, sidestep, or just punish them accordingly. Starting off, what you're going to want to do is select a string that you can either duck or sidestep. So uh, a move I have in mind is Laws uh, 3 plus 4, 3, or 4. So that move, this, you can sidestep. Um, I didn't record it, so let's just go ahead and record it. Yes, and then the next thing we're gonna want to record, just reset the position, is a really slow move known, or a really slow low known as a snake edge. Uh, a lot of characters have these. Um, Law is one of them. So what it is 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 a dragon or dragon tail, I think is what it's called. Um, down back four. So if you, uh, your opponent's character has a really slow low that you can practice reacting to, definitely use that. So we're going to record down back four. Yes. And we're just going to keep going down the list. Um, next, we're going to go into throws. So most characters have a one and a two or a one plus two break to uh, guess or react to. Law only has... Um, 
a, a two and a one plus two break, or a one and a one plus two break. Unlike Dragonov, he has three throws where you have to guess between one, two, and one plus two. So, um, actually, what we're going to do is just go to select from move list, go down to his throws. And the best way to scroll through moves when you need to get to the bottom is just press right or left. So right goes down, left goes up, and it'll skip like five moves at a time. So, uh, okay, so here we go. Run up, drop. This is a two break. So we select it and then go back down. And then we can select a one plus two break. So here we go. Um... Need drop. Okay, so some moves might have a weird input like three plus four, but you still it'll tell you the throw escape uh, to the right of the highlighted throw. So it'll say throw escape one plus two. So yeah, so you can just go through and see what you need to press to throw escape. Um, so now we can uh, put this all together. Um, and since there's four of them, we can increase the action frequency to four each. And then now we just record and try to defend. Okay, so that you sidestep. You're not gonna do well right off the bat, which is okay. You just gotta practice. So that's a one break. sidestep duck I missed but this is more of the advanced part of training mode it may seem like a lot but uh, this will actually make you a very good Tekken player believe it or not um, you're probably gonna do very bad at the start and that's okay just keep at it keep practicing and you can just replace whatever move that uh, you can duck or sidestep with a different move and practice defending against different strings uh, along with different throws and stuff. So, just keep at it. Keep practicing. Uh, you'll get the hang of it. Um, Rome wasn't built in the day, so, you know. <laughs> uh, just, just look at a lot of these Tekken pros. They've been playing Tekken for, you know, decades to get where they've been at, so... Um, take it a day at a time and uh that's the end of this video so i hope this helps and i hope this kind of opened the eyes or opened your eyes on how to use training mode and um you know this will definitely help you get better as a player so that's it this is dark sin signing out and i hope you take care peace